Okay. Oh, it's on you. Wave. I got to turn it back around to me. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay. Now you it tagged you. Okay. 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 Y'all, we getting it together. We are getting it together. What's going on down here? Okay, I'm going to turn around. She got her notes on her phone. What's up, everybody out there in Facebook land? It's me. I have been popping in and out, so I'm gonna, we gonna go on and talk about this thing, this surviving R. Kelly. I got <clears throat> comments, questions, and concerns. I'm just saying. I mean, your girl been taking around here taking notes. I mean, notes. Even my niece dribbled down some notes. <laughs> so you know, this thing, this thing here, this right here, this right here. Okay, let me start this out. Let me preface what I'm about this with. I am by no means an R. Kelly fan. Never have been. To me, he was a knockoff Aaron Hall. To me. Okay. He had a couple of your songs here and there that I listened to. You know, but I wouldn't consider like I guess I wouldn't consider myself a fan. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to go keep it in or, you know, part one, part two, you know, different parts. But as the spirit hit me, I'm going to be all over this thing. Because I Amen. let me start it and let me add this. By no means am I, am I victim shame. And just if this, just if this little video alive just so happens to, to reach it, the R. Kelly, I'm going to look in this camera. Robert Sylvester Kelly, you are a sick individual and you need to seek professional help. You really do. There's something wrong with you. Okay. Well, now that I got that out the way. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, the person that I heard that 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 I, I think I heard by one of the blogs that this docuseries was uh off of a book that she wrote. I think her name was Levante. She was a background singer. No, before I even bring her in now, let me tell let me tell you something that I did not like about this. Aaliyah has been dead this year, Mark, eighteen years. Regina said, "Hey, hey, Regina, hey, boo. Why bring this girl up and bring her into this? She's not here to defend herself." She's not here to tell her side of the story. They did not get any of her family members. I don't know if they reached out to them or not to give their side of the story. Again, I say by no means am I victim shaming. I just got some comments, questions, and concerns about this. Now, the first thing that struck me was this Levante chick, the background singer, that said, you know how they was on the bus and they was in their bunks and they was clowning around and busted in the room and saw R. Kelly having sex with a 15 year old Leah. And you said nothing. You know, I, I that that right there just struck me. I'm like, okay, you walk in on this 27 year old man having sex with a 15 year old and you say nothing. Not a thing. See, I couldn't be, I, I couldn't have been a judge or a prosecutor. Everybody going to Oh, oh okay. A uh, prosecutor or something like that that have the power. See, because the following people that I'm finna run down, that I'm finna talk about. Mm -mm. How Joseph said, they had to come talk to me. Because how the hell you see this man having sex with 15 year old and you tell nobody. A bus, according to her, a bus full of y'all seen him having sex with that girl and y'all said nothing nothing that's a crime so you're an accomplice right see y'all have to come talk you'll have to come talk to me mr craig williams the music producer that was in there that walked in the studio said he walked in the studio and saw half naked young girls around that you knew weren't of age and instead of saying something you left come and talk to me because uh Ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's so many. Oh, yes. 
And let me get to Demetrius Smith, who admitted on camera that he forged documents so that him and Aaliyah could get married. Come and talk to me. See, I, it, it, it'll be a whole, R. Kelly wouldn't be the only ass going to jail. I'm, I'm just saying. Now. I see. I'm, I'm finna go out of order. I'm finna go out of order. Because I, I, I see, I got it. So part one, part two, part three. I can't wait to get to part three. But anyway, <laughs> the only one that they interviewed that seemed to have some kind of sense was his music teacher. When it got to her that he was at the high school looking at, at and picking up little girls. Now. And she told him, you don't need to be hanging out at this high school, Robert. She the only one in this whole thing that that that, that actually showed that she had some sense. Oh, do you want to bring the chair right here? No. And showed that she had some sense. I, I don't get it. All the grown folks around here. You know what? I ain't even going off notes because I'm going to be all over the place. Uh, I don't get it. All the grown folks. Y'all saw this. Y'all saw that. And... Nothing. Y'all did nothing. So y'all just as guilty as he is. So come come, 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 talk to me. Because I'm getting all y'all in the courtroom and everybody going to jail without, with no bond. I'm just saying. And by like, okay, Ken, uh, Ken has got a point. She want to make it. Let me see. Okay. They just see your, they just see your eye hole. Okay. okay. Ooh, my room and jacket leave alone. <laughs> um. One of the parts that was blowing me about the entire situation with the girls that I guess were a part of the cult. Oh, chat the sex cult. Yeah. How? <coughs> oh, I, he had me staying in this hotel room, or I couldn't come out of a room in a house and had to pee in a bucket. At some point, okay, so you're being held captive. And you're not doing shit to try to free yourself? Nothing? Again, not try like Tara said, not trying to victim shame anyone. But some stuff is common sense. If you feel like you're in a life or death situation or you fearful for your life, because obviously on at some level, you well, have to be fearful. We have a little person that's invaded our space. Okay, wait a minute. Come here, come here. Wait a minute. Say hello to the people. Come back around here. Mommy. Oh, what? Okay. Wave to the people, Mommy. Chloe. Mommy. Say hi. Mommy. Shh. Mommy. Yes, we have Chloe that refused to go to bed. Mommy. Like she even took no dose or something. I can't put this in here. You just did it. See? No, I didn't. I didn't so try the star to get of the show. Here. Oh, Lord. Uh. Oh, come back to me. Come back to you. Mommy, do your house. Okay. Like I was saying, Chloe, uh-uh, baby. Okay, we see your pad. Okay. Like I was saying, see, the baby that threw me off, I got to refer back to my notes. Now, wait a minute. Okay. This thing just blew me. Like I said, I was gonna try to go in order these notes, but I just cannot. I just got to go when it comes to me and refer to what I had wrote down. Um, then they had this Lisa Van Allen girl. Oh, she admitted to having sex with this man and an underage girl who she knew was underage. They had sex with them. They had sex with each other. Yeah, come and talk to me. Because you you just as guilty as he is. You know, you having sex with a minor. And knew you was knew she was a minor. I can't I I, I can't deal with that. I, I this this right here, like I said, I am not a fan. I have never considered myself a man. I can't never did nothing for me. Like I said, it's a couple of songs, just like right now it's a song of his that I'm listening to and I only found out about it because it was in a movie. That's that's just it. <laughs> Excuse me. And the number one question that really, the, when, like, when I first heard about the tape, 
when it first came out. And yeah, it, I, I admit I did watch it because it was being passed around. Like, it was just being passed around like a blunt. Everybody, hey, I got to tell you what, I just watched it. You need to see this. Oh, this is this. Then I looked at, look, watch it. And then I brought some more folks to talk. Yes, I did watch the tape. Uh, where was the girl parents? That's what I want to know. Where the parents was at? I mean, you had one group of parents in, in, in see, like I said, I'm going out of sequence now. You had these parents up here talking about they had they 17, or was she 16 at the time? 17. They 17 year old daughter threatened them if they didn't let her work in, with R. Kelly. Then this Liz, Lizette, I did not get her last name, but the like like uh, uh the Latino Latina, she was saying how it was her and one other that that was seventeen years old, and they were going back and forth to Chicago to meet R. Kelly by themselves. I'm not putting my seventeen year old on a plane to go sleep. No, no. no. Where are the parents? Oh, parents. Oh, okay, and you know about this man's thing. About this time, by the time. She had got to it. That's when the little thing had been out. Had came so out. basically, a lot of that shit didn't have to happen. <coughs> Thank exactly. <laughs> like this shouldn't yeah. even be an issue now. Right? Why now? Why now? That's uh, I'm like. Why bring this out now? Okay. If I like I said, Levante, this documentary was based off her book that she wrote. So you done wrote a book and made money off of a child being exploited and molested. And just like the producers, they didn't do this for free. They didn't go to Lifetime and be like, oh, this just needs to get out here. You can have my work. Lifetime paid them. So see, everybody in this, is a, it's, it's about that money. You know, because then they, it, it was people talking about how he had settled some lawsuits. Let me tell you something. B and businesses, anybody with any piece of change would do this. It is and knows that it is cheaper to settle than a, 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 a dispute than to take it to court because then you got to pay them lawyers they hourly rate. And not only is it cheaper for them, but it's really exposing your true motive. Because I'm sorry, R. Kelly had touched my child. It ain't enough money that's been printed, being printed, or ever will be printed on this side of earth or the other. That would now, now you ain't finna sell the shit with me. Now you you can't offer me no money. I don't give a damn. I saw this one blogger say that you know they he pretty sure that they got you know high six figures. I'm sorry, mm -mm. you hurt my child. If jail don't get you, hell gonna get you. Cause I'ma send you there. That's just that's just me. That Jimmy. Hit it, Tremaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> For real. Yeah, Tremaine will be playing the uh tambourine at your funeral. Because no, 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 no. Then, see, I'm going out of order because this really bothered me. You had this 33-year-old woman. She was a radio DJ in Dallas. I did not get her name. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that was the ki kitty, I, 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 kitty something. I'm saving that one for last. Oh, damn. Uh, it was kitty, kitty something, something, but she was a Jones radio DJ in, in Dallas and met him. She quit her job to move to Chicago with me. Didn't know nobody in Chicago, didn't have no, no, you know. No job offerings or nothing that she was going to. It's just he came to her. I want you here for me. She quit her job and was gone. <clears throat> I don't have no. I'm sorry. Now them young girls. Yeah, that's messed up. Because like I said, uh, like, like I said, if this just so happened. To come across, he just so happened to come across this. I just said it before, I'm going to say it again. Robert Sylvester Kelly, you're sick, you're sick and you need to go seek help, for real. For real. 
But it is something wrong with you. Uh, but getting back to this 33-year-old helper. Ain't no way. Mm -mm. Now, anybody that know me or either really look at me at my Facebook page, you know, I love me some Dwayne Johnson. That Negro could come through this door right now and be like, Tara, I, I want you to come live with me. You ain't got to worry about having no job. Just do, I, I, I provide everything. Ain't happening. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, my brother, I'm going to see if my job, if I can transfer to where you are. But I ain't finna depend, no, no, be my only source. No, 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 no. That was, I just, and this about not letting them eat. Like this Jesus in the morning. I do not get that. I do not get that. Like I said, okay, them young girls, you know, he could he could have got up in their mind. It was impressionable, you know. But it was that, what was that other woman name? Because she was 35 when she met him. And he told her, you know, they was up front, that he told her that he had other women that he was dealing with. And oh, it, yeah. And she, and and she, she appreciated that his honesty. Because and, her ex-husband had cheated on right. her. You know, I just, it's just too much going on. It's just too many. What was the parents? That's what, it, I mean. Yeah, with the minors. Where, with the minors. No child should have been nowhere aware, near, near, near or, or Kelly by able him. to be in a position to be alone with that man. By one, they, one thank you. That's what, it, that's what it boils down to. Like I said, if I'm the judge, all these grown folks that said, y'all saw all him messing with all these young girls. Uh, you walk in on the got, got, got young girls, girls y'all. Forged, especially that that one that that, that forged Demetrius Smith. That's his name. That forged documents for him and Lily get married. Oh yeah, you go. All y'all going to jail. I'm finna lock everybody up. This some bull, including his ass, and y'all all going to jail. No bond, no bail. I I I, I can sentence y'all right now. We ain't even got to go. Oh, cause I just been turning camera on you. We ain't even got to have a trial. Y'all, I got y'all on video saying admitting to y'all us. You y'all was a you was an accomplice. Y'all helped this man do this stuff. And now everybody wants to sit up there and cry and cry and cry. And Miss Sparkle, you knew about the allegate the, the allegations with him and Aaliyah. She witnessed first. She witnessed first. So she even said she witnessed how he was with certain females and the people around him, how they were, and all that. So she knew. You knew how he was rolling, and you still voluntarily brought your niece around this man, talking about her career. No, you fourteen. On career, you need to be worried about at this point is education. But you brought her around that man, and now you want to see her like I can't believe that he did this and blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit because you knew what was going on. You brought her around her, like you said, trying to get her little career off the ground. Everything was. About power plays and about financial gain. Point blank period. Y'all sold, y'all sold. And then like the outcome. It's basically what it looked like to me. This is just my opinion. That looks like what the hell is going on. You know, it's just that. That that, that was, you know. And what really got me side eyeing Miss Sparkle is. It soon... As they show the last episode, you got a new song that you can release. Really? Oh, really? she available for events and stuff too. Do you see how they threw that plug in? Right, you know. At the end, you know. Get out of here. You know, I just, it, I just, like I said, some went on, some went on, some went on. Y'all took him. Like they say, where there there's is smoke, there is fire. fire. I'm not just, uh, I'm just like, no, he didn't do that. Not that I got some went on. But the, get back to the sex cult thing. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Because just like the mama that went 
Dominique's mother that went and saw your daughter in that room. And walked away. And walked away because she told you to come back. Damn that. Look here, little girl. I don't in the damn. I went to gay. The damn who was in that room. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You know, but. Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't worry about no bag and no. Kicking and, and screaming. screaming. Let's go. Let's go. I want to drug her. And ass. then you got. If if y'all don't watch, you, she get y'all, you got her away from. Her. And six days later, if you watch the end, six days later, oh lord, they back. Six days later, she went back to him. You know, just like this, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, or however you. I, every time I say it, I call it Jocelyn, but this Jocelyn girl that's still with him that then got on. TV and said he is not keeping me against my will. I want to be here. And her, her, yeah, cause her, that's the one. That's the chick whose parents are my my daughter. She got Stockholm syndrome. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! She don't have no damn Stockholm syndrome. That bitch had young, thirsty, hot in the ass syndrome. That's what she got, and now she up shit creep, just like. Unfortunately, again, going back to the where was the parents and all this stuff. I want to tell a story, but I don't think being, you want me to tell it. No, I'm already finna take it up. <laughs> being a woman in my younger years, like everybody say, I well, like I say, every woman has had their whole day. And if you didn't, you know, salute, cheers to your ass. I ain't never been no hoe. But okay, whatever. When I say mm-hmm. that, I mean I know like, your wild days, your wild your, side. Yeah, your wild yeah, side. Okay. But I was what? How old was I? Thirteen. So with that, this incident you've been talking about. Yeah. No, 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 no. Because we was in Camelot, so you had to be like 15, 15, 16. 15, 16. And I was hanging around with a group of people because I don't need nobody coming for me and trying to. You know, sue me and shit, cause I ain't. I don't want shit from you, cause I. Ain't, I, I <coughs> but I was at that age. I was somewhere where I had no business being, and I obviously did not tell my mother the truth about where I was. But yes, you did. girls are known to do shit like that from time to time. You know, you got some that are just a little hot in the ass. And I think that some of those situations <coughs> were young girls that were hot in the ass. And that goes back to parenting and, and guidance. But I can't even really say that because you can love your children and spoil them and do all that. Mm-hmm. And they still go wild. So, you know, it's a toss-up. Parenting is a toss-up. And it's not, I'm learning firsthand that it's not easy. But nevertheless, still, if I know where you at, nobody. I'm call, I'll call police. Oh, well, there's really nothing we can do. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. You ain't, worry you ain't got either. You can go, cause if when I get there, you gonna be there either way. <laughs> either way, the <coughs> authorities will be on the scene. Cause I'm not gonna even say it pretty. When I lay eyes on my child, I'm dragging her ass, and then when I see whoever up in there, whether it's R. Kelly or his goons or who the hell ever. I'm going Colombiana on they ass. Because ain't no way in the hell I'm just going to be walking around and just let my child be in a situation like that. Because whether you, I mean, a majority of the parents, the parents, they put their children in that situation. With the style of music that R. Kelly does, and I'm not a fan, but I do, I I enjoy R. Kelly's music. I will say that. I won't say I'm a fan because that entitles 
that I could have been in the same fucking situation as these bras on that fan shit. Uh, I, I enjoy his music. Stuff and name loves a good skate song. I'm just saying. But anyway, uh, there is no fucking way. I, 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 I don't care who you are or what you're trying to do. I would not have put my child, <coughs> no 14, 15 year old, and let them work with R. Kelly. I'm, I'm, I'm just sorry. Maybe after I believe I can fly came out, and I wish, maybe, maybe. But again, if I did, I well, right now all the time. And she, well, you can't be. Well, she can't be here, or he can't be here, or whoever. It's not going to go down. Nothing or no one. Period. P hit it, Tremaine. Because it's <laughs> going to be a whole lot of shouting and tambourine shaking. Because I'm telling you. Orange, what they say? Orange is new black. Uh, <laughs> you and say? I love black. So I, 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 I rock orange. I used to have an orange cross color outfit back in the day. It was all orange. So I'll do it. I'll bring it back. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I ain't, I ain't afraid of good health care and three hots in a cot when it comes to mine. So if yo ass, I'm just saying, I feel like this should not even be a situation. And for all these other motherfuckers that's coming out and trying to start dry snitching on all the other folks, oh, well, Paul Walker and Jay-Z and all these people, this shit been going on since the beginning of time. Since it was man and woman, you done had men going and getting young-ass girls. I know women, uh, of women that were having their first children at 12 and 13 years old and was married to some 30, 30 40 year old fucking man. Because back then, men just wanted to spread their seed and they didn't give a damn how they did it or who, who, they, <coughs> who they planted it in. And if you did, if you had such a fucking issue with it, if you're not standing up, well, well, they, they, well, it can be said that's why they put those laws in place. Yeah, that's why they put. Okay, it's law to keep, it, to keep that, that from, from happening. happening. Exactly, but again, at some point, okay, the laws are there, but the shit is still happening. So if the parent, if you ain't, if you aware that something like that going on, and you got, and especially if you know or got an idea. <clears throat> where your child is at and especially with all this technology and shit today if they got an iPhone you can track their ass and you know where and who your child with just like that Bill Cosby shit if you violate me you not finna silence me point blank period unless you kill me uh, that, that, that's the only way I'm gonna be quiet about being violated because I've been in that position and I opened my fucking mouth. And, or I defended myself or got and obviously got the hell out of those situations and all of the above. <clears throat> I know some people are stronger than others and all that. But as a them 30 some years I don't get it. I, I I I I can't have no sympathy for you. you and especially wrong. the ones that had the opportunity to to make prepare this man food, but you 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 a hostage or a victim, and huh. you ain't really left or you left in a room by yourself. You got stuff around. It's something around you that can harm or, or at least neutralize the situation long enough for you to goddamn get away. As you know, they talking about they, that his folks were saying that if you if they didn't cooperate, they was gonna kill them and kill their family. I man, let me tell you something. Y'all ain't met my family. You gonna catch hell trying to do anything to my family. I'm just telling you right now. They 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 they, they don't play that. Not now side. Not now now side of my family play them games. So 
Hey, you, you know, bro, you gotta come better than that. Well, you finna have to try to kill my yeah, ass because I'm finna get the fuck up out of yeah. here. Hello. It's gonna well, And hey. then what was what was what was the this the Lisa woman? The Lisa I think her name was Lisa. The DJ. No, that was the ki- kitty. Kitty was the DJ. Yeah. Kitty. Once you got away, you at the airport. You done called because and you said this with tears rolling down. I'm like, okay. You, you, you had, you might have got some sympathy for me, but once you got away, why you call back and say it in my mind? Because if he had answered the phone, I was going to go back. But he didn't answer. Yeah, but he didn't answer. So I, <laughs> and how many years yeah. ago was this? The fuck and you here. just, that's the, it's, t- it's the timing of all this. It's the timing, you know, and. To the, everybody, I'm seeing all these hashtags, mute R. Kelly, and they canceling his show, getting his show canceled in different cities and stuff. Let me tell you something. These, that man can go across that water and make his money. I know folks that ain't put out a record, uh, I'm over here in almost 30 years. They go across that water and are treated better than... Some of these present day superstars are over here. Alexander O'Neill ain't had an album out since I don't know when. But go over there to Europe. So unless you're going to do a worldwide, just follow him around the world trying to get all his stuff. Yeah, yeah, you might as well stop. And because right now, Ain't nobody taking America seriously, but I'm not going to go there. But you, and y'all know why. I am going to be petty though. Y'all got y'all tattoos? <laughs> okay. Had a petty moment. I don't be petty. They ain't ready. But that's another one. I did one Friday on that. You might want to go back and look at it. It's so much. It's, it's just so much. Because to me, like I said, them young girls... Yeah, that was messed up. <laughs> you know, and why was he around in high school? And, it's, and y'all, some of the same ones that, that wait a minute, that's asking that questions or some of the same ones when they was in high school had a 20, 25 year old, 30, uh, that 20 to 25 year old nigga come picking you up, paying your little pager bill, because you thought, and then you thought you was the shit. So don't do that. Don't do that. You know, then all these super extra woke females around him, oh, they ain't messing with nobody. They ain't messing with him no more. Then, like I, like you said, they done did that shit on Paul Walker. There ain't nobody messing with them no more. Then they done dig, dug up where Diddy, uh, first baby mama. He had his first child when he he was 24 and she was 16, which meant he was sleeping with her when she was 15. So now they ain't messing with Diddy. And you're crazy as hell. You think I'm giving up my Mm-mm, Take that, take that. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. But then, you know, so, and I said this earlier today. If you are going to stop messing with people because they got some messed up stuff in their past, you ain't gonna be messing with nobody, including yourself. Cause ain't nobody on this piece earth on this piece perfect. I'm just saying. Ain't nobody on this walking this earth perfect. Depending on your beliefs, the only perfect man that over that ever walked this earth was crucified. So you know. And everybody wanna do this. Everybody wanna do this. Everybody wanna do this. Everybody want to do this. He, 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 he. You know. Yeah. It's messed up. It's messed up. What he did. Cause like I, and I keep, and I'm going to keep saying this. If this was the, some kind of way reach, come, he was to come across this and just so happened to watch it. Robert Sylvester Kelly, you a sick individual. Ooh, somebody got slapped. Ooh, somebody got slapped. Just some ugly shades, I can already tell. But it was like so much. I got I can't even go on the notes. I just can't even go. 
out the notes. I buy the notes. I had all these notes wrote down. I don't give a damn what nobody said to me. Sparkle pimped out her 14 year old niece. Uh, the basketball coach. Oh, I wrote that. You know, and then the, the, at the tape with the little girl. That, well, he peed on the little girl. This Lisa Van Allen chick. <clears throat> the one that admitted on camera that having sex with him and a under and a girl that who you knew was underage. I think she leaked that tape. I really do. I do believe she leaked that tape. Because you saw the tapes. And if you were so concerned about these girls that was on this tape. Yeah, is this guy? Yep. Okay. Then he gave up on show. Oh, anyway. Why didn't you just destroy all the tapes? But you went through these tapes, found yours, took it to your room, then gave it to some people you trust, and then told him that you had found it and gave it to somebody and... Sent him to get it back. What did you do that? What did you do? in Chicago. This, uh, yeah, oh. ma'am. Okay, uh, uh, ma'am. Okay. So watching this damn, watching this damn documentary. Chicago fucked up. <laughs> I'm just saying. All these folks saw this man messing with these young girls and said nothing until now. You know, I just y'all chart. They charged the man. He went through the. He went through the, through the court system. And twelve people found this man not guilty. Hey, it is what it is. Spark up there because then what got me was. Her niece and her parents got on the stand and said, that ain't her. And everybody talking about it's about the money. It's about the money. It's about the money. If he did pay them off, like I said, if you have sex with my 14-year-old daughter and, and it's a tape out there, you peeing on her, you wouldn't be peeing on nobody else. You wouldn't be having sex with nobody. You and and I found you wouldn't have even made a trial, my nigga. I, and I know that's an ugly word, but my nigga, you wouldn't have even made a trial. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My son was twenty was at twenty nine years old, and it was this certain female that and I, I I don't know why she believed that 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 she was his girlfriend. I blocked that like like the matrix. He, I don't give a damn. That's my baby. Get your ass away from me. Okay. That's how I am. I said, you know, no, 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 no. I don't play them game. Play them game. That lineup is on point. I gotta get back with her. But, uh. It's just, it's just, it's just amazing. I, 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 oh, I just, I, I can't wait to get to her. Should we go, should we get to her? You might as well. Drea, Drea Kelly. Now, first time anybody ever seen you, you was on the show. That the only reason why you got on is because you was married to this man. Y'all remember Hollywood Exes? And I'm talking about a Andrea, Andrea Kelly. You on there crying, talking about how you used to have, he kept you locked away. <clears throat> Excuse me. How he kept you locked away and everything. But I, what I don't understand, your brother introduced you. Your brother was his bodyguard. <laughs> I wish y'all could see the look on the girl face. Okay, Maddie. That was one of the Madison's look. <laughs> one of them T.S. Madison looks you just got. How T.S. Madison would say, daughter. Daughter. 
if it was that messed up and he was doing all that you had not 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 you did you had not one not two but three kids with this man if you knew that he was messed up and was treating you like that why would you could even I don't get it. And you on there telling him that I no, wait a minute, we got some more wisdom. No, no, I was just mm -hmm. gonna say she still and you still carrying his motherfucker last name. But you so disgusted with him. But you still carrying his name, collecting checks off of being his ex wife, slash I guess survivor is what I gotta put down. Okay, I'm just trying to I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused as hell. Because are you a victim or are you <coughs> just a fool? No! <laughs> mm. It's a big difference. Because you feel foolish when you fall, when you are in a situation where you are victimized. It does make you feel foolish. But I think in this case, that she's just a fucking fool. No, she ain't no fool. She just like everybody else. That, that, she just, no, I'm just... She, she was trying no, to get... How, you, how do young kids say now that you're trying to get the bag? Yeah, she's secure in the bag. Yeah, she secured the bag, and from we let her tell you she might have got tea bag. Which times. is why, again, I say it's hard to take <laughs> all that seriously. And again, ain't I'm nobody sorry. victim shaming, but yeah, like, but that shit is like insane to me. You, there is no way you can sit up here and say. That you were just so severely mistreated by this person. And you laid up. I just. It's making my head hurt just <laughs> thinking about it. Because I'm just really like. It's so many ways to kill a person. Times it's murder by numbers. That's why you got shows like CSI and shit now. Easy Taylor as your ABC. Because the, I'm just saying, because the way they're making it sound, and obviously because the way it sounds, like yes, he should definitely be in prison. He or, or and honestly, out if not prison, he should definitely be confined to um in in a in the psych ward somewhere. Because there's something mentally wrong with so, that. Yeah, because it, it's yeah, it's definitely something off for sure. It is something but mentally wrong with dude. People, I guess they say, oh, they just, you know, they get the young people because they're weak-minded. You can't use that excuse because life, science, and all of the above has proven that age is not, not necessarily a determining factor on your, what you're mentally, how you are mentally capable of processing things or responding to things. You got... 10 year olds going to college so I don't want to hear that oh they <coughs> had a weak mind or they were you know mentally underdeveloped motherfuckers knew what they was doing they heard R. Kelly saw dollar signs and didn't like the karma that they got back cause when you hey look at the reason why look at the reason why you went in to begin with. Because if R. Kelly was a regular motherfucker, was Joe Kelly off of... If R. Kelly was... From Oakland him, City, we would not be having this damn conversation right now. Thank you. Because... I'm finna, I'm finna go. This just came to me. And I'm note taking. This just came to me. Because what's sad about this is the only reason this guy in their attention is because it's R. Kelly. Because unfortunately, according... To the numbers right now, some young girl or young woman is going through what they said they went through with R. Kelly, and it's not getting the the, the attention. You know, everybody in this, I, it, it got paid. I honestly, everybody in here got paid. You know, then it was a thing that he can barely read or write. Oh, Dre, I ain't forgot about you. I, like I said, I'm bouncing. I, I just could not go to these. No, I, cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm. The mind was willing, but the, the but mm -mm, I just, I'm just. Damn.
Damn. Y'all have to forgive me. I'm trying to refer to these notes. Uh, this is... Damn, I wrote that down twice. I must have knew. I must have meant that. Because, you know, everybody... Now, I got to get back to Drill. Because, uh... You the one, oh, I fell in love with him because he's told me he wasn't good at reading and writing. And I taught him, and that's how I fell in love. Oh, and he's really the runt of the lip. If he was such a runt, again, I say, why couldn't you get away? Where was your, your brother was his bodyguard. I'm sorry. I, I, mm, I, I, it was a situation that had went on. And the signs was there before it went on. And the warnings was told, hey. You better handle this because you don't want me in it. And the situation went down. And I guess God and the universe and everybody knew I, that I was serious about what I said I would do in this situation. Because I missed a certain this individual by two minutes. Because I meant what I said. Yeah, how how Chicken George said at the end of Roots when they he got his family free. Come after me or mine. I'll kill you. And that ain't no terrorist threat. I ain't on here trying to pop off. That's just that's just, you know. That's just how I am. Come after me or mine. Yeah. You 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 gon you gonna need some tamarine players. Uh uh. I, I just couldn't see it. I just couldn't see it. And then Dr Drea is just Andrea. Is it Andrea? Andrea? What is Andrea. it? Andrea. Andrea Kelly confused me so much because now a few months back, you popping off online because when this first came out about he keeping these all these girls been quiet for too long. You keeping he keeping all these, holding all these girls in his sex cult down here. And Moni Love had said something about it on the radio. You popping off threatening her and that's your kids. Your kids got to go to school and that's their father and this, that, that, that and the other. Then you get on here and you mad at him because the kids had to go to school and you dare him do that to your kids. And then you fast forward to a couple of days ago, you... Online with I guess your new dude listening to his music. Drea, do you need some uh counseling? I mean, seriously, do you need some counseling, Drea? Because that is bad shit too. Ain't no way. You people came to know you off of a show because you was married to this man. If all that had went on like you said it did. Damn that. I would not want nobody to know. If there's nobody, because a lot of people said they didn't even know y'all was married till you did that show. <clears throat> if the majority of people didn't know I was married to him, I won the guy on TV for three seasons. Oh, however long, Kyle West. And like I said, I'm not victim shaming nobody. I'm just calling, I, I, I'm just using my mind. These are the questions that popped up to me. I feel, I feel, you know, it's messed up. Like I said, he need to get some help. You know, just like Jocelyn's parents said, they got proof from text messages between him and their daughter that they, she, he had had sex with her before she was legal. Go to the police with it. You got the, you got the proof. Go to the police. <laughs> And you mean y'all in Florida. Your daughter, because when they did show her singing, she can't sing. She had been going around doing all these talent shows and ain't nobody in Florida picked them up. Picked her up. I'm just saying. I am just saying. I just, it's just so much that, that just rubbed me the wrong way about this. I mean... It's, I, I, and, I, and I know some people are going to be mad. Oh, you taking his side. No, I am not taking his side. 
I'm just calling out all these grown folks that's sitting on camera talking about they saw all this and didn't say nothing. You know, and like I said, my real thing that rubbed me the wrong way is Aaliyah ain't here. That baby gone. Y'all gonna bring all that up. They did that to boost the ratings to get people to watch that shit. So it still comes back to what? Money. You know, y'all ain't, you know, tried to get her, you know, nobody from a little family. If they, if the shit came oh. on Lifetime. Oh, wait a minute. I got a statement that I say when a little mama saw that first thing, she made a, she released a statement. Wait a minute. Let me find it. I had to screenshot it. Because. Let me see. Okay. So this is from Diane Halton. This is her statement on it. The woman in so-called backup. And, wait a minute, and I quote. The woman in so-called backup singer in the forthcoming surviving, surviving documentary. That describes seeing meeting or ever breathing the same air as my daughter Aaliyah is lying and is a liar. My husband and I was always on tour with her and at interviews and every place she went throughout her entire career. Whoever this woman is, I've, I, I have never seen her before anywhere on planet Earth until now. Okay, then it continues. These lies and fabrications cannot be tolerated and allowed to be spewed from from the forked tongues of saboteurs of Leah's legacy. My daughter only wanted to realize her dream of sharing her talent with the world and give her all performing on stage and in front of the, of the camera for her fans she adored so much. She realized that dream thanks to those true fans who still love and support her legacy unconditionally to this day. Shame on all those involved in this project who thought it was it was kosher to drag Aaliyah's name into this situation that has nothing to do with her today. Once again, this will not be tolerated. Sincerely, Diane Hogan. So, I mean, what mama... Nah, I'm I'm just saying, what mama would, would would come out and you know because then I was watching. I want to say it. I I can't say it because I don't want to know. I think I'm gonna have to go back and research that Aaliyah's family got on got the masters of his first three albums or the album that was out at that time. But you know I'm gonna research. I meant to research that some more. And, and I think I am going to research that some more, but, you know, I, I had to work and <clears throat> I've been feeling a little under the weather, so. I don't know what mama would, you know, I, well, I you know what, it, you do have some, but this lady don't strike me because it ain't like they was hurting for money. And again, because some else, and I ain't put this in my notes. A little uncle managed R. Kelly at the time, him and a little working together. And he let you think he going. One day, one of my uncles letting that go on. I'm 15, and I'm in, and see, and there's something else. I, I'm 15, and I'm in a bedroom with a 27 year old. No, no, not, not now. One of my uncles would let that go on. See, so this is about ratings for Lifetime because this is the highest rated show that they ever hit Lifetime. This is about folks want money. <coughs> and it's it's just sad. It's just sad. This is a messed up situation all the way around. And like I said, you got people talking about they ain't messing with this one, they ain't messing with that one. You know, I, 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 I'm waiting for Surviving Elvis. I'm just saying. He moved Priscilla to his house when she was 14. He was damn near 30. If he wasn't already 30. 
Surviving Harvey Weinstein. What that's that? Surviving Jerry Lee Lewis. And see, y'all to open a can, of, uh, a can, uh, uh, yeah, Pandora's box, and a can of worms. See, because now the pictures are popping up when Jay Z was with Foxy Brown, and he was twenty-seven, and she was fifteen. See, you see how you see how this this is a snowball effect. So now everybody out there time, oh, I can't mess with R. Kelly, and if you still listen to music, I can't mess with you. You are gonna stop messing messing with uh, listening to Jay Z, cause uh, he was born sixty-nine. Would make that nigga a bit older than me. Beyonce was born in 81. We all know they had been messing around. So, I mean, I'm just saying, you see, you see where I'm going with this. If you're going to put a scarlet letter on one, you got to put a scarlet letter on them all. You know... And that's the cup of everybody want to be like. All y'all want to be like. And I don't need nobody in that so-called beehive coming at me. But you already know what they're going to say. But I got a can of wall spray and some smoke and some fire. I, 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 I burn your ass. Don't come at me. But what you... Okay. <laughs> you ain't uh-huh. But what you going to say? I forget what you know, you know that, that beehive, you saying the thing wrong about no, us. it's not... It's not Saying anything wrong is just stating facts. Thank like, you. He, but everybody's defense is gonna be well. She was of age, but how do you know that? How do you know? How long do you know? Because you like, don't know how long they have been messing around. Jay Z was what forty, and I think she was like twenty five. <coughs> I think he like 10, 15 years older than her. He more than ten, fifteen years older than her. The Negro is older than me. He was born before me. Him and Diddy was born in 69. I was born in 70. I have no problem telling my age when I was born because I look good. I just said black don't crack. Anyway, try to get me off subject. So, well, now nah, he's 12 years older than her. Because she was born in 81. Yeah. So, yeah, he 12 years older than her. But I don't, I believe they helpful is old. Like, I don't, I don't bit more believe they helpful was born in 81. Then, 71. Off subject. 75. Oh, yeah, off subject. See, don't get me going off subject. I'm talking about just being our counselor. And I really, ooh. But people, we got to get together because just for it's yeah. sad that it's either this situation, it, that, that, it's, it, that that went on for it to be this surviving our killer thing. And our killer said he's suing everybody because everybody lying. He said he's suing all their ass. Lifetime. Anybody that was on there, he 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 been taking notes. His people let well, he said he didn't watch it, but his people let him know who said what. He's suing everybody. Okay, and he ain't saying y'all he handcuffed by his destiny. Yeah. Ain't nothing y'all can do to him. He is handcuffed <laughs> that I, I heard that. I was like, well, gone Ara. This man said he handcuffed by his destiny. Which and, and, and in a way he right. If it's meant for him to get caught up again and serve time. Or get his head split to the right meat, white meat, because he done ran up on the right young girl and with the right older sister, brother, parent, uncle, aunt, somebody. It, he would he would, he'd get his. Because like my mama said, you gonna play you gonna pay on this side of the grave. So uh I got so much most on here, but I I'm tired, y'all. I went to work today. <laughs> and I'm tired. I just had to put my two cents out here, and I know as soon as I, I sign off, I'm going to think of some shit. I meant to say that. Dang, I meant to say that. We just got to do better, and I would say as a community, but as people. When the first situation was brought up, that should have been the end of him. That, I'm just saying that should have been in. Why is Ray J on here? Oh God! <coughs> Excuse me. That should have been. That should have been in there. It shouldn't have been no surviving R. Kelly. And this comedian, he brought up a good point because everybody was wanting him to do a funny thing. But he said this ain't nothing funny. He was like, 
because I got a fifteen year old daughter, and I and I'm coming to tell you, you come to me talking about you in love with my daughter, it's gonna be problems. And he said something, and I actually, I didn't had time to think of it. I'll think on it, and it's true. If Malcolm, if this had happened back with Malcolm X, with Malcolm X was no, no, Malcolm wouldn't have let that go on. Hell, Martin wouldn't have let that go on. And I know y'all say, I'm Martin's king, because say he was cheating on his wife, and this, that, 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 and other. Okay, that didn't forbid it. The men, they back then they wouldn't they wouldn't have let that go on. I don't know where we went wrong as a, as a species. I I can't even say as a race, as, as, as a country, as, just as a species. I don't know where we went wrong. You know, it's like doggy dog. As long as it ain't messing, as long as it ain't. Me or mine, I don't give a damn. But you should, you know. And we we got we got away from that. I think my generation was the last one to come up where if you was out acting a fool, and anybody that knew you and your family saw you, they could whoop your behind, take you home, and then your Mama was going to whoop your behind. Or your parents was going to whoop your behind. See, we ain't got that no more because it's, it's don't touch my child. No, if you see my child out and you know me and my, and you see my child out doing something that you know I wouldn't want them to do, knock them out. Whoop on their ass. ass. Whoop that behind. But don't be touching my child. Don't be, you don't know my child. My child didn't do that. You don't know my child. Please. Like you were never a child. See, because everybody wasn't a perfect angel like I was as a child. What that mean? What's that all about? Yeah, that's a big ass window. Like a I didn't cause no trouble. I didn't get in do no damn it as a child. Well, I guess you're compared to me. You were. <laughs> Get on my nerves. Anybody want a sister? <laughs> she come with a niece and all their clothes. I I even throw in twenty dollars so y'all can take them to Chick Fil A, but uh, wow, <coughs> or the Waffle House. But anyway, getting back on subject. This, this girl here kicked me all off subject. Um, uh, this is just a sad situation all around. I mean, because it's it. I, I just, I just, you know, I just, I just don't understand how we even got to where this could be some. Because, and don't, don't even get me for the folks that work for him, because now you had ex-employees that, they talked to these ex-employees that wanted their face blacked out. If you tell them the truth. Why hide your face? If you tell the truth, why hide your face? You know, if I know that I'm, I got some truth on somebody, and even with that kill that me thing, I want my face to be seen. Because if anything happened to me out of the unexpected, it, it, I, I, hey, this nigga said if I said anything, he was gonna kill me. I had all that on them, you know. But we're just gonna see how this play out. Cause some somebody brought up a good point. They gonna probably try to build Cosby and once he get seventy nine, eighty years old, C now I can't remember no, not his name. Then they are gonna try to take him to jail. But like Eddie Griffin said, if no black, it's very rare that a black entertainer leave this earth clean. They are gonna always try to put an asterisk by your name. <coughs> like my homeboy said, don't do that shit that y'all did. If y'all ain't feeling our Kelly, keep keep it like that. Don't do that yet, cause you did the shit with Michael. He was all kind of pedophiles. Then he died. Oh, he was the greatest entertainer ever. Oh, he was this. Oh, he oh Michael. He he was the man. Just like he said, Whitney was every kind of crack hole and everything else. Y'all talked about Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown, like like they had a tail. 
Oh, but when she died. Oh, Whitney was the greatest singer. Oh, Whitney this. Oh, Whitney. Oh, Whitney. Couldn't nobody touch Whitney. Tried to talk about Prince. Prince was everything from gay to a devil worship. But oh, when he died. Oh, that he was so talented. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, this. Oh, that. You see how we do? You see how we do? So, if you disgusted with R. Kelly now, when his time comes, continue to be uh, uh, disgusted with him. See, because I'm tripping <coughs> off all these super woke females all of a sudden that if a man do something, oh, no, I can't. No, if you support them, oh, no, I can't. But what's that song, Throw That Ass in the Circle? Mm -hmm. that, if you're in the club and that shit come on, you one of the first ones out there on the floor. Oh, he's not talking about me. <laughs> you know. No, oh, because... See, and I'm bouncing all over it. Because then, you know, you had folks... Well, now you got folks... Well, he told you in his music. Because why was his music all, all so over-sexualized and all that? Do you... The time, the time that R. Kelly came out, that's what the thing was. His shit wasn't more, no more vulgar and no more raunchier Man, than Jodeci. Uh, intro. Uh, what was it? Let me come inside. inside. Yeah. Know. You know. Silk. Uh, thank you. Fr freak me, baby. You know, all that. So that was the time. He did music that was... That, Even, I mean, did nobody say nothing when Prince wrote that song for Tevin Campbell and Tevin Campbell was like a preteen to my... Like, you know, I won't do you at school like some homework. homework. Right. You got motherfuckers riding around <coughs> coming in in y'all twelves. Or whatever in y'all rides. Exactly. So like you know. that's why I'm like people be But all these grown folks I'm finna run these names down again and these grown folks that said they saw him with the unnamed girl. Levante, the background singer who claimed that she walked in on him and having sex with Leah. Like I said, I'm the judge. I'm a judge, goddammit. Come and talk to me. Craig Williams, the music producer, who you was in saw all these young girls in the studio half naked and, and all that. Come and talk to me. Demetrius Smith that forged documents. For him the forged the documents for him and Aaliyah to get married. Come and talk to me. Lizette, I don't know where your mama was, boo boo. The little Latina lady. Yeah, yeah, and yay, you flying back and forth back. I, I, I ain't putting my 17 years. If they ain't taking Nate going off to college, that's the only way. Lisa Van Allen, who, yeah, yeah, baby, you need to chop me, see, because you had oral sex with a 14 year old. So come on, come on. And you knew she was 14. Come top me. I'm just saying. Sparkle, yeah, 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 yeah. You pimped out your 14 year old niece. See, because. I, I ain't in the game, but I kind of know how this game went. You bring R. Kelly a new talent. She get big. Not only do she make money, not only do R. Kelly and the record company make money, but you got a little cut on the side. So, yeah, come and talk to me. Drea. Boom. I hope you see therapy. I really do. I really do. Take it for somebody that... That used this. So she basically at this point, she done sold her soul. She's she, she, damn near schizophrenic. Because one minute, you going off on somebody. Like I said, she ripped mo moaning love for like 15 minutes on the live. Because you saying that in my children and this. Then you get on here crying. Then you go live with your boo and y'all bumping R. Kelly's song. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what yeah, that's what that's what we sit in drill. Drill got to go get some 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 therapy. Yeah. She got to go get some therapy. Uh, bass player's daughter. Bass player's daughter. Bass. You know, them two thirty year old women. <laughs> Uh, what was her name again, Miss? The one that left her job. Kitty Jones. Miss Kitty name. Jones. You was thirty three years old when you met the man. Ain't no way in the and y'all excuse my language, but ain't no way in the entire hell, I would have quit my job 
and move. No, mm -mm. no, 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 baby. You need to seek some therapy too, cause there's something wrong with you. Yeah, at least when I moved for the wrong man, I made sure I had a job while I'm going. God damn. Exactly. 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 <laughs> and I was young. Well, not young, young. I was in my twenties, but this girl was thirty three. Thirty-three years old. You knew what you was doing. You knew you now at that point that you say you missed he she met him. You knew about the sex tape with the fourteen year old and about what there were the alleged for sex tape with the well no the sex tape with the fourteen year old and the alleged relationship with him and Aaliyah. <coughs> but everybody you could tell something was wrong with him because all he talked about in his music was sex and it was so raunchy. The raunchiest nigga that I ever heard of in my lifetime, Luther Campbell and the two live crew. So they fucking 14 year olds too. See, you see how your logic going out there? And like I said, I'm, I am not an R. Kelly fan, but you are not finna insult my intelligence. And I honestly, I, I think I should sue somebody for me even taking my watch this. <laughs> We should have known from the Leo biography. I didn't okay. watch that. I I mean, I didn't watch. I, oh, I'm going to say that. But oh, and oh, and I I I, I mm, you let me forget about Wendy Wendy Wendell, Cleotis, Rufus, Arthur, James, and the giant piece he, Peach Hezekiah Walker Jr. Williams. Her ass is on there trying to talk about somebody, baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl. And she said he gave her all the tea. Said he gave her all the tea, but he had to pro she sign a contract. And but, you still, coming, but you still like, on there saying, like you, telling stuff. Like so, trying to allude to. So now shit. I think you're going to get sued. You know, Wendy, you need to worry about saving, boo boo, the word on, you need to worry about saving your, your marriage and your show because you had to push back your. Uh, she she done pushed back, I guess, her new her shows from she supposed to came back from holiday break this week, mm -hmm. but uh the T is she done had to push that back with everything that's going on with her husband, <coughs> mm -hmm. and how unbeknownst to her he had to bought the house for the mistress who he had allegedly having the baby by and all that, but you know. Mm -hmm. I you know I didn't, didn't say it what I didn't say it and if you missed any part of it I I'm a post it you can go see it if you got you know you can make comments just you know if, if some let me know what you think let me know what you think about this whole fiasco and uh I'm finna go get off of him try to take something from my throat my throat is bothering me and I'm gonna need my throat. My boys tomorrow to cheer my boys on in the championship. Yeah, you see them right there. You see it right there. Mm-hmm, right there. That's who I'm going for. And anybody that know me knows that's who I'm going for. So I don't even know why people... Like, if you can't come up to ask me who I'm rooting for in this game tomorrow, then you really don't know me. <laughs> you don't. You really don't. You don't know me. I'm just saying. I do not own the rights <laughs> to that line. Clifford Harris Junior don't come after me. You know. But it's just, it's just this whole thing. It's just so it just and it the and either the way it, it it just left so many questions. I mean because I it's, it's just so many and, and, and I guess they say you you can't expect people to do what you would do and God knows I have been in some situations because honestly, I think that's why my last two relationships didn't work. Because I wasn't going to be totally dependent on, 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 on no dude. No, 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 mm -mm, never. Uh-uh, no, 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 that ain't the way my mama raised me. No, I'm not wired that way. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like I said, Wayne Johns can walk through that door right now and say, be like, Tara, it's going to be me and you. You ain't got to work no more. Everything you need, I got you. This, that, that, other. Negro, are you crazy? No, 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 boo boo, kitty. Mm -mm. It's gonna go down like that. Mm -mm. I know as your little girls coming up, we would say, I'm on a man that's rich that way. I ain't got what. Mm -mm. That ain't me, boo boo. 
I got to kind of have my own. I just, you know, I I I might need here, especially here in the past few. You know, I've I've had to have, I've had to have. I can't even talk no more. Help, but mm mm. I was able to bring a little something, something. You know, I was able to help myself some. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> you know. But totally dependent on the on, on the dude? No, no. No, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. And I'm not man bashing. I'm just saying that I got my common sense. Is that still Sky? Yeah. I get her and Charmaine mixed up sometimes. But, uh... We gonna see how this gonna play out. Cause if you if you think this is the last of it, you can forget it. This ain't the last of it. It's too much money still to be made out this. You know, cause somebody is gonna score the big one on one interview with R. Kelly. You can please believe they are. Oh, for all we know, it might be me if he see this live. Because like, cause like I said, Robert Sylvester Kelly, if you do some kind of way, the earth and the sun and the stars connect and line up in the universe and you just so happen to see that, boo-boo, you need help. You, if, you, if you've if you done all this stuff <coughs> that these women are saying that you've done, you need help, boo-boo. No, you need help. You need to see... Yeah, you need to seek professional help. I, I mean, you know, because the fact it was some brought up that maybe he got a form of autism, and I've and it's two different ones. And I researched it at first, I thought it might have been Asperger's syndrome. No, you're too social to have Asperger's syndrome. Then I thought it might have been another level of autism, but no, you, 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 too. Social for that. Because either one of those, they're not that social. That's why I'm I'm kind of not buying this. He can barely read or write. Because if he's not, like Drea said, if you can, you can barely read or write. So who's booking your flights? Who's handling your business? Who's signing your contracts? Who's reading your contracts? See, so... If you shift through the BS, it, you, you'll find the truth. Because like, like, uh, cause like my sister said, and when we were sitting up here watching it, like she said, where, where, and like, they, like the saying go, where there's smoke, there's fire. So it's some going on. Now, do I believe he laid hands on? I, yeah, I do believe he done robbed the, the Ike Turner him a couple of broads. But he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be the first, the last or the only one. He just so happened to have somebody talking. Because if you think. Just because. Just imagine. You at a point. Where you got limitless cash. Like Jay Z said. You can look in the mirror and be like. There I am. Everywhere you go. People you know. You got people hanging on your every word. That's going to give somebody an ego. And if you say that in one, you're lying. You're lying. Just like I need to stop telling that lie. Like I like when we was putting that, that mega millions got up to over a billion dollars. And I was like, you know, I've always said about ever hit the lie right there. I'm still going to work. No, I, ain't. I need to stop lying. Like that's probably the reason why I ain't never hit because I've been lying. Baby, I get anything... Over anything over twenty mil, I'm out. I'm out because now nah, you know what I I would I would work just enough to still keep my my flight benefits and that's fucked up. That's all messed up to say. But don't nothing be free. I'm sorry. Don't nothing be free. 
But, you know, these folks, they ain't got, ain't, ain't nobody around them. They got this, and ain't nobody <laughs> around, them, around them telling them no. So you really got to take all the dinners. This man probably actually thought that he could get, that, you know, especially once he went to court and got found not guilty. Like, hey, okay, they said, I, I didn't do it. I mean, y'all, they saw me on the tape, and they said, I didn't do it. <clears throat> so, hey, I mean, it's a number of things, but, yeah. But I just can't wait to die because it's a snowball effect. I mean, folks coming, they digging up, like I said, that did it. Baby mama was 16 when she had his his first son, and he was 24. So that means she was 15 when he was sleeping with her. Okay. You know, oh, Jay-Z was sleeping with Foxy Brown and gave her gonorrhea when she was 15 and he was 27. Oh, you dry snitching Okay, they coming. Paul Walker was messing with young girls. Yeah, my thing. Don't be going and talking about what dead people were doing because they can't speak for themselves. Oh, okay. Oh, Drake, they pulled up when Drake had this girl, this seventeen-year-old girl, on stage with him and was kissing well, her. Hell, Drake, Drake, what five? He ain't even you know, like he no like, old ass man. And all these, I, 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 I want to say just on the grass in a wheelchair, like that. Yeah, like I said, I took notes. I took notes. I, I front and back, front and back notes. Then my niece took her. Like I said, my niece took her own little notes right there. But uh, but even Chloe was like, wait a minute now. My four-year-old niece was like, wait a minute, this don't sound good. Something don't sound right about that. Because <coughs> my niece at four years old, if you're doing something and she don't agree with it, uh, she going to tell it. But uh, it's just, we. I'm just, I just want to see. Well, I just want to think if there's anything else. Because I hate when I do these and then sign off and be like, damn, I meant to say this. And I meant to say that. I know. Uh, I'm just, I'm just rambling. But I'm gonna, like I said, we'll see. We shall see. Ooh, Lord, it's one, it's one fifty in the morning. I'm gonna get my butt off here. I will be hollering at y'all later. I might get back on here tomorrow for a minute, talk about y'all's president. And how he holding y'all. Can we not ruin um, game day with it? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, game day. So, yeah, I will definitely, I'm not going to be no fair weather fan. Win or lose, I will be on here. I will open it up. If we lose, I know y'all going to be waiting to say what y'all got to say. You know, so I after the game, after the game tomorrow, I'll be back. I'll talk to y'all later.